Hi friends, welcome to Integrately. In today's video, we shall learn how to send an advance request using webhooks in Integrately. Now for today's uh, demo purposes, we'll be using Engage Bay app, okay? So what I've done is I have found the API documentation of this app. This is the API documentation, okay? And I am planning to create a contact. So this is the creating a contact uh, steps provided by Engage Bay. You can see example request. So let's get started in integrately and understand how can we use this uh, API documentation to achieve our goal. When I come back to integrately, taken Google Sheets as my trigger, okay, a row is created and now I'm sending advanced request. Now the first question is, arises is how to understand whether we have to send a normal post get request or an advanced request. For this, when you come to the documentation, it clearly says resources are represented in JSON. This means for uh, connecting engage way with integrately, we are going to require advanced request. JSON means advanced request. So I have taken the action called advanced request. Okay. Now we are creating contact. Okay. It says the type is post. Okay. So the method is called post. Next comes URL. If you look at this, this is the URL for creating a contact. So I've used this. I've used, I've pasted it here in my URL. There is no question mark here. It means there is no query parameter. So let's go to headers. Coming back, you can see these H, H, H. This means these three are the headers. So the first header, header is authorization. Okay. So we have authorization here. It says you need to paste the API key for authorization. And they have given where you will find in the account admin settings, API and rest API key. So you need to copy that API key and paste it over here. Next is your accept and the type is application oblique JSON. So it says accept is the header. And the value is application oblique JSON. Similarly, you have the next header is content type application oblique JSON. So it's content type application oblique JSON. Now, in advanced request, what happens is we have to put this entire coding into our JSON body. So what we will do is we will start from this first open raise bracket, copy this entire thing till the last bracket copy paste okay and here i will paste it here okay let's paste it now you may not require all these fields uh, i like i don't want the tag or the custom field okay so what i will do is i'll come here i'll just delete this part okay and i also don't want the tags i will delete this Okay. Now, one more thing. When you see the uh, contact, uh, this one says name. To understand what exactly name here is, but either it's the full name or the first name, we look at the system fields that are given at the top and it says name, which means first name only. And last name requires a field called last underscore name. So we need a code for last name as well. So I found that in the next one that says update. So I have this field here. Okay. So I'll just copy from here, from here and paste it after the name part. Okay. Say enter and here I will, after this comma I am pasting here. Okay. Sorry. I got two commas here. Okay. Yeah. And after this, again, there should be a comma. Yep. That's good. Okay, we have all the values. Now comes for mapping. Now, if you will uh, look at my record, my record has the entire full name. But in Engage Bay, I need the first name here and the last name here. So how are we going to do that? For that, I have inserted two steps after my trigger and before my action. 
this data modifier i have said extract text till that space you know i've mapped this field it has a name and i've said uh, stop at the space and don't include it okay then i said test this testing gave me an output okay for the next one i said extract after that space okay and i said test got the output now what i did was let me show you the original coding this you can see as sample okay i instead of mapping this okay i have just removed this and place of that i have mapped the output from my first modifier that got me the first name now for email i have mapped the email field here for the last name i have used the second modifier that gave me the last name i have put it here for phone number if you are sure it's always going to be india so it has a code 91 in my case india 91 so i have just simply uh, is replaced this text okay the numbers with my field from here but if your country may change then you will need to remove this plus 91 and add the actual country code in my case it's always going to be india so i have kept 91 as it is and i have just changed the phone number details now i will say test now i got this error message because i don't have an authorization key i mean the api key in your case you have to place it and well it's done you're good to go your engage bay has been successfully integrated with integrately i hope this you found this video useful thank you so much for watching